But there is something to be said about the fact that, I mean, there aren't that many black hockey players in the National Hockey League. In an interview, PK and Malcolm Subban spoke on it. And I can guarantee you every single black hockey player has, you know, been called, you know, a, a, racial, a racial slur at some point in their career. Rather. As did 13-year NHL pro Wayne Simmons. Last fall, a fan threw a banana peel on the ice just as Wayne Simmons, who was black, was making a shootout attempt. Immediately from the officials... That's I barely saw it as I was watching the puck. Now Kim is going after home after the whistle again. Ah, oh, Kim. Give it a break. Get on the ladder and talk to him. Anyway, uh, push the pace. You're going to draw penalties for sure. Does he speak English? Anyhow, maybe that's the problem. Oh, okay, come on. From the NHL to the British Columbia Hockey League. the North American Hockey League. Are you really saying monkey? You hear that? The Youth Hockey Association to even lower levels, where Ty Cornette encountered racism at the age of 10. Racism remains a persistent ill that plagues the sport, Owen Kim would know. Longtime NHL coach Bill Peters was fired for accusations of racism, with former player Akeem Aliyu bravely coming forward. And now at Michigan State University. You just gotta keep going, honestly. We unfortunately have to introduce forward Jager Joshua. On his Twitter, Joshua wrote the following. On November 11th in our game against Ohio State, one of their players called me a racial slur multiple times, he stated. One of the officials heard the slur and gave the player a game misconduct. There was an investigation by the Big Ten in the days after the incident, but no further public action has been taken by the Big Ten Conference or Ohio State. The inaction has left me feeling confused and pessimistic about the movement of diversity within hockey culture. The ignorance of racism does not belong in our game, and I feel that I need to make people aware that this incident occurred because without acknowledgement, the problem gets worse. Acts of racism do not belong in hockey as they can discourage African Americans and minorities like myself from playing and loving the game. In action, in the face of racist comments and actions, allow these behaviors to continue. Notably, in his statement, Joshua did not cite the player's name. Sportsnet would report Camille Sedlocha, a senior, received the game misconduct. He is a center for the Buckeyes. When asked for comment by Connor Eargood, Ohio State gave the following reply which was quite underwhelming and felt honestly more performative and pat on the backy than anything else. They claimed they came to a resolution. If you aren't going to consider an official assessing a major over a slur, indisputable evidence that a slur was used, then you aren't interested in enforcing consequences for on-ice racism. Brendan Ruse says, But that said resolution did not involve a suspension nor did it involve Joshua, the player who was racially abused in this story. Now, here is where, in my opinion, it takes a twist. The Big Ten Conference, I went to Indiana, know it very well, said they didn't take action because of a lack of indisputable evidence. Sam Stockton says, wait a minute. It's an absolute indictment of the Big Ten and Ohio State that neither has taken any action and that the OSU player involved played last weekend against Notre Dame. To reiterate, there has been no public action taken, which has left many befuddled and pissed. And I don't blame him. Vimal Sukamaran, formerly of Providence College, put it into perspective as well. I am disappointed with how the Joshua incident has been handled, a situation that I know very well. The choice to not hold players accountable for these actions is cowardly. Until there are consequences for these players' actions, there will never be change. To Joshua, you deserve a place in this sport that we all love. The courage you demonstrated speaking up truly speaks volumes about the type of person you are and know that I stand with you to the Big Ten and Ohio State stating that you promote diversity and inclusion is clearly false be better the truly disappointing part of this is that the action or lack thereof by those in positions of leadership their choices for who deserves protection and who doesn't speaks volumes louder than whatever empty buzzwords they can regurgitate into a press statement